After that long two week break, leaks for chapter 163 are finally out now, and this really is the beginning of the end for Ocean Oko. I know a lot of us have been waiting to learn about Aqua's fate, and if he's really gonna die, because at the end of last chapter we saw him drowning, happy that he could go before Serena this time. We may finally get an answer in this chapter it seems. Of course, before I get to that, shout out to Donut like always for the leaks. But yeah, it seems like this chapter opens up with some sort of dream sequence, or alternate reality, where Serena had a life saving procedure, which worked and cured her, I presume. Furthermore, she goes out to be an idol in that reality, and even performs on stage with Ai, along with Goro chair and them on. I and Serena were about the same age, so them both being in Bikomachi could have really been possible. Maybe in this infinite Tsukuyomi reality, Serena's actually able to get close to Ai and truly befriend her. I can actually see Ai being able to open up to Serena. Although I guess Ruby just has a different soul in her when she's born. I still think though that Goro could be killed in that timeline if I still went to him when she got pregnant. Aqua is also actually watching the stream of the Goro somehow, and they start yapping about some things, like Aqua wondering who he really was. Aqua or Goro? I do like how we're actually seeing him really think about that conundrum. However, it is weird how it just seems like Aqua and the Goro are suddenly yapping though, with no explanation as to how this is happening. Perhaps the full chapter will explain more, and hopefully more about the Goro too since she's pretty relevant in this chapter. Like the Koro girl even has a whole double spread of her hugging Aqua with tears in her eyes. She seems to explain all the moments of Aqua's life to him as it flashes before his eyes, which are going dark, before answering his question about who he really was. She tells Aqua that all of it was him, Aqua Oshino. I'm assuming she means all the memories to Aqua's. The word is pretty confusing not gonna lie, especially since we don't know all the details. I was thinking the Koro girl meant that he was both Goro and Aqua. It depends on the memories in the background of the double spread. Like, is it just Aqua's memories or Goro's memories we see too? Either way, none of that matters anymore, as Aqua's body just vanishes in the last page, with the only thing remaining of him being Serena's keychain. If only we had that last panel, because I'm wondering if Aqua vanished in that alternate reality or while he was drowning. I think if it was his real body, then that could mean he could be saved somehow by the Crow Girl's powers. There's like no other way to explain his body vanishing into thin air underwater. The Crow Girl may have transferred his body somewhere after her last words to Aqua. The only other option is that Aqua's soul was sent back to reality, leaving the past behind him which is symbolized by Serena's keychain being left behind. Let's all assume an Aqua lives though, and it's going to be really hard to explain realistically. Otherwise, is this how Aqua Oshino dies? Let me know what y'all think of these leaks in the comments and as always, thanks for watching. Like usual, I'll go more in depth with my review when the official chapter drops. But if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe. I got some more Shinko content here too that you can check out. Peace.